Hi there, this is Robin Norgren, and I'm your host for Montessori, Creativity and the Meaning of Life. I've started a series a little while back on the idea of what do we do when we don't know how to pray. And I know for me, many times, it's just such an overwhelming thought to know that you have to do something And especially if you um, are someone who's a spiritual person or really feels like there is a higher power um, that you connect with, um, trying to get yourself from that place of helplessness to being part of the solution and the conduit uh, through which um, God can be seen in the world. And so um, over the next few days and weeks, I really want to offer this opportunity to be able to have us sit together, listen to words from the Bible, and then take those words as prayer. You can use them as a walking meditation or... Very soon, I will be putting this into PDF form so that you can take them, print them off, and use them to pray um, just over the people in your life or for yourself personally or, you know, just something you might even share with someone else uh, to put um, just some words on paper to allow you to focus, very similarly to... um, Protestant beads or a rosary to just kind of center your thoughts and focus your mind and your heart and allow um, your desire to have a vehicle to use to um, just pour out your thoughts before God. Romans 11, 30, 36. Oh, the depths of the riches of your wisdom and knowledge. How unsearchable are your judgments and your ways past finding out. For who has known your mind, O Lord, and who has been your counselor? Or who has first given to you that you should repay them? For from you and through you and to you are all things. To you be the glory forever. Amen. You, Lord, my God, are gracious and compassionate, and you will not turn your face from me if I return to you. Second Chronicles 39. I will humble myself before you when I hear your word. Second Chronicles 31, 1 and 2. May my conscience testify that I have conducted myself in the world in the holiness and sincerity that are from you, not in fleshly wisdom, but in your grace, especially in my relationships with others. 2 Corinthians 1.12 Remember us, O my God, and do not blot out what we have done in your name. Remember us, O my God, for good. Nehemiah thirteen fourteen. Jesus, those who obey your commandments abide in you and you in them. And this is how I know that you abide in me, by the Spirit whom you have given me. 1 John three twenty four. We know your grace, Lord Jesus Christ, that though you were rich, yet for our sakes you became poor, that through your poverty we might become rich. 2 Corinthians 8, 9 I will not fear, for you are with me. I will not be dismayed, for you are my God. You will strengthen me and help me. You will uphold me with your righteous right hand. For you are the Lord my God who takes hold of my right hand and says to me, Do not fear, I will help you. Isaiah 41, 10, 13 
I call this to mind and therefore I have hope. Your mercies never cease, for your compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Lamentations 3, 21 through 23. Have compassion on me, Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are in agony. I am sick at heart. How long, O Lord, until you restore me? Return, O Lord, and rescue me. Save me because of your unfailing love. For the dead do not remember you. Who can praise you from the grave? I am worn out from sobbing. All night I flood my bed with weeping, drenching it with my tears. My vision is blurred by grief. Go away, all you who do evil. For you, the Lord, has have heard my weeping. God, thank you for hearing my plea. You, Lord, will answer my prayer. May all my enemies be disgraced and terrified, God. May they suddenly turn back in shame. Psalm 6 God, ho, how great are your riches and wisdom and knowledge. How impossible it is for me to understand your decisions and your ways. For who can know your thoughts, Lord? We know that everything comes from you, God and exists by your power and is intended for your glory all glory to you God forever help my heart to return to you Lord because Lord God you are gracious and merciful I know that if I return to you God you will not turn your face from me God help me to do what is pleasing in your sight Lord, help me to not turn away from doing what is good and right. Help me to be able to say with confidence and a clear conscience that I have lived with a God-given holiness and sincerity in all my dealings. Help me to depend on grace and not on my own human wisdom. O oh God, help me not to forget all that you have faithfully done. Lord, you are looking for those who will worship you in spirit and in truth. For God, you are spirit, so those who worship you, Lord, must worship in spirit and truth. Help me to understand how to worship you in the way you desire. God, the Bible tells me that those who obey your commandments remain in fellowship with you and you with them. Cause the Holy Spirit to dwell mightily in me. I know the generous grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Though he was rich, yet for my sake Jesus became poor, so that by his poverty he could make me rich. Help me to understand the meaning of Jesus' true riches. God, you tell me, don't be afraid, for you are with me. You say, don't be discouraged, for you are my God. You, Lord, will strengthen and help me. You will hold me up with your victorious right hand. You tell me to see all my enemies lying there, confused and humiliated. Anyone who opposes me will die and come to nothing. God, you tell me that I will look in vain for those who tried to conquer me. Those who attack me will come to nothing. For you, God, hold me with your right hand. You, the Lord my God, and you, God, say to me, Do not be afraid. I am here to help you. I still dare to hope When I remember this, Lord, your faithful love never ends. God, your mercies never cease. 
Great is your faithfulness, God. Your mercies begin afresh each morning. Remind me to say to myself, Lord, you are my inheritance. Therefore, I will hope in you. Lord, you are good to those to de who depend on you. To those who search for you, God. So it is good to wait quietly for salvation from the Lord. Thank you.